Good evening, Karina Cavalio with ABC News. The narrowly re-elected Turnbull government is down to work with all but one of its 42 ministers sworn into office. The Prime Minister's first act was to leave Canberra to meet the US Vice President. Here's National Affairs correspondent Greg Jennett. You boys stand in the front, there you go. The little ones bore witness to a very big moment. No, no, look over here, Bubby. The day their mums and dads were called from the change table to the cabinet table. Very experienced grandfather. <laughs> and sworn to avoid all leaks. I am Malcolm Bly Turnbull to swear that I will well and truly serve the people of Australia. Australia's 29th Prime Minister is back in office. The hardest campaign and smallest of victories has produced the largest of cabinets, but finally ends on a sweet note for the chosen 41. The Nationals fared better than any. Barnaby Joyce has secured an extra three in the ministry and one in the cabinet. I'm uh, very proud of the diversity of our party room, both the Nationals and Liberal party rooms are extremely diverse. But the gender diversity index is not what Liberal women want it to be. They make up fewer than 20% of the coalition party room and fare only slightly better in the ministry, at just under a quarter. They're actually going backwards in representation of women in the coalition. Uh, and that's really a, a big problem. Labor's factions are remaking their shadow ministry lists with a promise to greatly exceed the coalition's female representation. A new ministry marks the restart of governing, which has been on hold for 10 weeks. Front benches are being given orders on what's expected of them over the next three years, but also more urgently, what's required in just seven weeks of parliamentary sittings set down for the rest of this year. <laughs> Catch up with an ally was among the re-sworn Prime Minister's first priorities. It's a special moment for me to come to us. And from the US Vice President's visit comes a new mission in Iraq. To include uh, the training of Iraqi federal law enforcement agencies and local police. Australia's 300 military trainers were sent to the Taji base near Baghdad to strengthen Iraqi army brigades. Mr Turnbull's agreed they'll now expand their mission to train police as well. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.